Yeah, man. Sup, my purples. I hope you're doing all right out there in your respective lockdowns out there in this whole crazy, crazy COVID-19 times, you know what I'm saying? For me, I was expecting to have a lot more time, but it turns out for some reason, the workload somehow doubles up with all this video communications systems over Zoom and Google Hangouts and all of that stuff. Organization is something that takes getting some used to. One of our favorite Frenchmen, Lohis, has just come out with a new update for the ESPI, the virtual machine SP1200 that you can have in your computer. We're still in very early beta stages, but these are some very welcome new features that take it one step closer to uh, being able to actually make some full beats on it. Apart from these new features, there's also been some new bug fixes fixed in it, you know what I'm saying? Gotta call pest control. It's still pretty bug ridden and pretty unstable, the release. We're at, what is it, 0.0.0. .0 .0 three beta right now but you can get it if you want to and still keep in mind that this is a one-man passion project so he's doing some great progress I just think it's an amazing thing to be able to follow the development firsthand like this so go to lohis.com if you want to sign up to get the beta version all you need to do if you already have it to get the update is pretty much open the app and you're gonna have it there that's it. Before we get into it, I want to remind you that I just released my amazing drums kit. So go to my website if you need some fresh drums, you know what I'm saying? I can surely highly recommend it. If you have a machine, I made some MIDI templates and uh, a lot of people send me a lot of questions on how to get it working. So I'm gonna do a quick fact on that before we get started. Make sure, first of all, that you have the template for your machine loaded in the controller editor before anything else. Then there's a template for the ESPI we need to load as well. So click MIDI and then 6 to load the MIDI mapping. Confirm with 9. 9. And then load this file. This goes for any machine. Just load this file. There you go. Then there's one more step. Select your MIDI input. If you don't see this Machine Mark III virtual MIDI input there, try the other one. But if it doesn't work, the solution is to restart your computer. As simple as that. Tried that a couple of times if it's fucking up for you, you know what I'm saying? Let us take a look at these here new features. I got some drums loaded from the Amazing Drums Kit, of course. Got my little kick right there. We can now instantly copy by dragging and dropping from one pad to another. Confirm it like that, and now we have a copy of our kick. Amazing for chopping samples or something like this. Hitting mix will lower the volume of one of them. And now we have two separate pads for our sort of a pre-kick, you know what I'm saying? You also notice how these sliders are now automated to reflect the settings that we're on. In whatever mode, if we're in mix or tune or whatever it might be. I love this snare. It's slapping snare. Like a tennis snare. <laughs> It's like you're slapping a ball, you know what I'm saying? Let's bring the pitch down a little bit so we get that SB1200 crunch artifacts in there. Notice as I'm switching between the mix and tune modes that the sliders are hopping all over the place. We need to lower these hi-hats. And a bug that I noticed is that every time you come back into the mix mode, it the sliders seem to have forgotten their settings. So as you as you cycle through them, something going on there pressing tempo now allows us to change the bpm using the numpad so let's double it up with 180 bpm that old school technique you know what i'm saying now for something a little bit more exciting press setup and 11 to enter multi-pitch and choose your pad and confirm with yes now we should have it spread out chromatically over the pads Opens up for a lot more possibilities. Done it. If I remember correctly, you're supposed to be able to set up the pitch individually for each pad on the original SP1200, and that does not seem to work yet here. But just like on the original, you always need to exit the multi mode with setup and 13 to enter a new one. So let's check out the multi levels. Pick the same sound here. Yes, confirm. Ooh. Different volumes. Imagine replacing this with a saxophone sound and you got that classic golden era boom bap recipe. Spicing it up with some variety, making use of what you got, you know what I'm saying? 
easy trick. If you have a look at master effects function 15 under setup, we have something very interesting. These are a bunch of master effects that are going to affect all the sounds that are playing. Say we would like to go for the compressor. We can confirm that. And now we're also going to be able to use the sliders to change all of the parameters of the master compressor. <laughs> He's also made some convenience optimizationalization here. If you right click the pads, you see that we have the option to rename it. So let's rename our Amazin kick to kick so we know what it is. Otherwise, we might have thought that it was a cowbell. I don't know. So kick and snare, easy organization right there. We can also remove it without going into any menus. Have you made any beats on the ESPI yet? Please let me know in the motherfucking comments. And forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell with all notifications. You know what I'm saying? If you like this material. Quick little update on what Mr. Blaze has been up to. For people watching the machine tutorials, I assure you, there's going to be more coming of that. Right now, I've been working a lot on some more extensive documentary type shit but i got some very cool machine tutorials and other stuff in the pipeline as well please let me know what you enjoy the most watching here because i always take your feedback and your input and try to make the best of of the balance of what can i bring my knowledge and passion into and what can i do to please you guys and if you make beats and this is the first time that you watch my channel you should also know that we have a beautiful discord community with a weekly beat challenge that we stream you know what i'm saying so mm, check out one of those streams to know what it's all about and join the discord for some beautiful connections you know what i'm saying okay bye bye